Cypher is born. Is everyone ready to celebrate? Not quite, Star. Sparklet is still working on the cake. Don't dilly dally, Sparklet. We want our Lord's birthday cake to be the best ever. Just a few more star sparkles and we'll be ready. Twink, how are you and your fellow stars coming with a gift? That's a tough one, Star. What do you give someone who made it all? Jesus is grateful for any gift. Even the smallest gifts makes him happy. He's so wonderful. I just want his birthday present to be perfect. Jesus will love whatever you give him, Twink. What are some of your ideas? Glow, what, will you read us your list? Yes, boss. We thought about a crown. But any crown we came up with would pelt him once in our caps. We thought about a sweater. But in heaven, it's never cold. What about a heavenly tie? Don't you remember? We gave him a tie last year. And the year before that? And the year before that? What about giving him a gold watch? The wise men already gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh, so that's how. Glow, the wise men gave Jesus more than gold, frankincense, and myrrh. What are you talking about, Star? It says clearly here in Matthew 2 that they brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Yes, they did bring those wonderful gifts to him, but they gave so much more. The story of the wise men is wonderful. Star, could you tell us the story again? Oh, Sparklet, you stars have heard this story so many times, you can tell it. But we love that story. We do. Please tell it to us again. Okay. Well, this story might just be the thing to get us thinking in the right direction for the perfect gift for our Lord. Come, stars, gather around, and I'll tell you the story again. Okay. Well, as many of you know, I was the star under you that night, 2000, 2,000 years ago. Little did I know that you would be the star that led the people to Jesus. You were ordered to shine on Bethlehem the moment Jesus was born. <laughs> That's right, and the brightest have ever shown. Jesus was born. Our Savior was born.
by Black. I remember it like it was yesterday. In the days after Jesus was born, Joseph moved his family to a little house on the edge of town. There they had a home in Bethlehem. But Joseph feared that his family was not safe, right? The news of Jesus' birth had spread all across the land. Joseph and Mary knew that after the shepherds came, there would be more visitors wanting to meet Jesus. And some of those visitors would just be curious. Some would come and worship Jesus just as the shepherds did. They also knew some would want to harm Jesus. But not the wise men. They wanted to worship Jesus, right? You're right. There are three wise men. It is thought that they came from some far off place in the Orient. They were astronomers. That's somebody who studies stars. And then there's me shining in the heavens. I would have loved to see you shine like that. They left their homes and riches to investigate this new star. They met each other on the way and found that they were following the same star. They heard on the way that this star had appeared when a new king had been born. Thank you. 